Hello everybody. <laughs> oh, I've had this on my mind for some time. And uh, the pears rot from the inside out if you're letting them uh, get ripe on the tree. And uh, there's still pears on the tree. They've been through about three frost over the last uh, week. And they're, uh, they're still fine. But uh, I've got, uh, which these two, I just picked off of the, off of the ground, and uh, this one I picked uh, I don't know a couple of weeks ago, and then I've got some that I picked probably over a month ago, and they've kind of gone to mush. And uh, I'm gonna cut these open, and then we'll we'll go ahead and pull one off the tree. Although they're they're not gonna be any different than these. This one here, it's already a uh, starting to shrivel the skin is it's getting uh, soft but uh, we'll, we'll just swing around here and we'll uh, we'll pick one of these off the trees we'll just uh, we'll just find one uh, up in this tree get this thing loose we'll, uh, try to find one up here And they still don't want to <clears throat> turn loose all that easy. Just kind of wiggle it around. And I'll show you uh, how I like to pick my, my fruit. Yeah, uh, maybe that sun won't be in your eyes, but <laughs> it's in mine. But uh, kind of see where the stem attaches to the tree right there. And that, uh, when I gently lift a pear up, uh, and that just pops free with, with no effort and it uh, snaps loose right there that's that's usually when I pick my my pears and we'll uh, we'll cut these open still uh, still crisp I don't know if you can hear that and uh, here's the inside it's a uh, pretty much uh, all the way through it's a uh, good clean there's one that uh, fell off the tree naturally uh, I assume from the wind more than anything and uh, see the inside of the pair of that one I don't see any rot at all And uh, here's the one that uh, has been picked for a while. It's already getting soft. It's not uh, it's not crisp, but it is juicy. As you can see, it's uh, it's getting <laughs> really soft. Probably just squirted you and I. <laughs> but uh. wipe this knife off I'm not saying don't pick your your pears I mean pick them whenever you want to pick them but I'm just saying uh, I've never uh, had a problem with leaving pears on the tree and letting them uh, ripen on the tree it may be uh, different in your climate well, you could probably uh, wrap these uh, I know uh, a lot of the old timers used to wrap them in newspaper and put them in a basket in a cool dark place and they would have uh, you know fruit way up into the winter time uh, and I don't I don't eat pears you know that often that I that I want to keep pears try to keep pears all winter it's uh I ain't even washed this thing off. <laughs> I don't want to talk with my mouth full. But it's it's sweet, it's crisp, just uh just what you'd want in a pear. If you heard that one just fell out of the tree. 
You know, once they hit the ground, they, there's probably going to be a bruise show up on them. So, this one here was planted by my, uh, my grandparents. And, uh, I don't know how old the tree is. I mean, it was, it was already way up in the years when they planted it. And uh, the storm took half of it out this spring, so uh, it'll probably get diseased from that open trunk wound. I mean, I could, I could paint it with something to slow it down. I may take some of this uh, the scion wood off of this tree uh, later on in the year. I want it to, to go. You know, I'll probably take it in December, maybe next month. Make sure all the leaves have dropped, and uh, it's it's definitely uh, in its dormant state. But I want to get it before we have too many uh, uh, too much winter weather, in case it damages the wood, and I don't realize it uh, before I cut it off. You know, that's just why you take your scion wood uh, before spring, uh, is to prevent any winter damage that it may uh, have. Oh, right there where you see that clump of Johnson grass, there's a uh, <clears throat> there's a black walnut stump here, and I uh, made a video about how uh, washing those black walnut holes that was directly off the trees, I, I sustained some burns, and uh, it's healing up nice. But uh, one thing about the the juglone in in the walnut roots that's where most of it is is in the roots, but it's in all parts of the tree. I've got some uh, trellises over here. <clears throat> See these uh, these posts. I've uh, tried to grow uh, muscadines, and I, I planted some uh, some cold hardy kiwi, but uh, I didn't take care of them anyway. But as you can see, there's nothing here, uh, and it seems like every time I put something there. It, it just never does uh, want to grow, and uh, I'm going to assume it's because of the juglone in that root uh, system, because it was a fairly large tree, and I know these roots expand out around it, but uh, these, these two spots here have, have never uh, produced anything, and I've uh, tried to, to replant uh, several times and they they just never want to grow and then they uh, they just die. So uh, it's probably from all that juglone that's uh, in that uh, root system there because I still get some green sprouts off of that stump occasionally. So there is still some life in the, that root system. So if you're uh, trying to grow a garden and your plants never thrive, and you've got black uh, walnuts near that, that's probably going to be uh, part of your problem is, is the juglone in that root system of that walnut tree. Just can't stress that enough. There are plants that, that can grow around it. I just thought I'd uh, show you these pears that uh, they're, they're not rotting. And uh, they're still uh, still very uh, edible. You can probably still see there's still uh, there's still several pears in the tree. Some of the old timers uh, said you know they they wanted the pears to get frosted on to make them sweeter. I, I don't know about that, but whatever uh, whatever you want to believe, I mean that's uh, that's fine. <laughs> 